Hey folks, Jake here with DD Audio. No real great way to start this video out, so let's get right to it. So for the last couple, three days, I've been working on a design for a face shield. Basically, it's simple enough and it's made of readily available, easy to find materials that um, and anybody should be able to make it. It's very simple. Oh. goes on like that and all right so the face shield is made of five really simple parts starting off we have a piece of mylar at seven thousandths of an inch thick um, it's like overhead projector material this stuff if you can see it through the glare there then we have a 15 inch piece of one inch elastic next we have ten and a half inches of double-sided tape um, I already cut it to length the main part is our actual laser cut PETG plastic and a 0.03 inch thickness. It's kind of like a Tupperware material. It's really, really flexible and uh, should hold up to this task. Lastly, we have one and a half inch thick foam cut at one inch by 11 and three quarters of an inch. Now we're gonna put it together. To start off, one really cool part about this is we're going to take a three hole punch. punch three holes. On the plastic piece, you can see here, there are small barbs that will just flex outwards. Kind of hard to see. These will just flex out and hold on to this. And you kind of just press them outwards and slide them up into the hole. It's really hard to see with just clear material on both fronts. So we'll finish sliding those up in there. Now, here's the basis of our face mask, our face shield. It's with the side that doesn't have the mylar on it. We are going to put our tape down. The tape lines up with these guidelines here, so we'll just place those down. Make sure it's nice and lined up without spending too much time on it. And then uh, rinse and repeat. Peel the backing off the tape. I need an exacto blade, a knife of some sort because it is super hard to do with gloves on. I have to take a heat gun or a hair dryer, whatever you have, and you just, you don't want to hold it on there too long because it all, uh, this plastic can warp under heat. But we're just, we're just trying to make the ad adhesive on the tape a little tacky. We're going to line up our foam with our tape. And the, out the outermost tape marks is basically what the foam should line up with. So line up both sides and give it a nice press. <clears throat> Last step is to take your elastic and on the end of the plastic part, there are these semi-circular slits. And you're from the inside, or the face side of the shield, you're going to press the elastic, like the corner of it, through there. And you just kind of pull it through. And that is how the headband, the elastic attaches. And you can pull this as tight as you need to. We'll just do that on the other side, and then we'll be done. Voila!